so hey guys welcome back in kuribanga yt and another video so in this video we are going to also complete another comment request that hi please make a tutorial how to make a car in ui5 okay so as i said that i reply okay so here's the reply video so first of all are not recommend to make a vehicle game in unreal engine 5 ea2 because in our early access there's a th tons of bugs in unreal engine 5 okay so i'm not uh, recommend to make any game right now like for productions or kind of like some other stuff don't make uh, game because I really have now super you know there's a tons of bugs available so I will be show you one more bugs so first of all let's create a advanced vehicle because he may uh, he said to make a you get a car I'm not understanding that which type of car he wants so I'm just trying to make here a gyrable vehicle uh, which can we drive we can exit from the vehicle okay pretty much this simple kind of like GTA okay so i'm select the desktop console and preset quality is maximum so i don't want to save in app uh, c drive so i'll be set in my app digs because my all the uh, basically projects are stay in my app digs so then let's give it name that uh simple yeah, car game okay so now let's click on create so if you want you can also add the third person template instead of this thing so you can basically get a pretty much a characters also for controlling you know more goodly okay so we will be also do this thing so don't worry so uh in unreal engine 5 there's a super super bugs available uh, also you can't fix uh, find some bugs uh, fixing videos in maybe in YouTube their documentation is now not fully accessible It's mean that we can't find lots of tons of information about Unreal Engine 5 in their official documentation Because it's not available goodly yet. Okay, so first of all, let's search the player and play start So first box is this one as you can see there's a automatically uh, The player state location instead of the ground. I think this is a simple glitch. No problem. Let's make it bigger Oh, and let's remove this all this stuff now let's add a simple you know the start point so because this is the start point so if i click on play okay so i can basically drive the vehicle okay but some of time as you can see there's a problem can come like i'm now pressing the w keyboard okay but it's still not working why okay so why this problem so because there's an unreal engine uh, in their u4 a vehicle they have a bugs kind of like uh, the uh, primes of your you know the bones become basically primitive bones become slip uh, if you are not using the vehicle so we need to fix of all first of all fix that bugs so for fixing this thing we'll be simply grab our movement components or the course and then from our vehicle movement okay from this one so you can search that uh, P R I M there should be a get updated prime and set there should be a one more option that said A C T I V active. I think with this thing we can fix this problem. I'm not sure maybe we can do with this thing. Okay, so simply add with every of components. Once you are importing this thing, it should be update to do a new active compile and save now let's try yeah now it's pretty much enough good as you can see it's now if I just you know stay some time and if I try to action but as you can see it's uh, still have that problem Wow and um, forget about that what is called update uh, as I'll double EP sleep. Oh, seriously, guys, I forget about that. What is called? However, uh, I try to make a video about this thing. Uh, okay, so now let's create a instead of going vehicle or come out from the vehicle. Okay, so let's create another project for our basically getting our third person template data. So we need to just uh, create a simple uh, third person template, nothing else. So just create a third person and we can call this anything for now let's call it that uh, player 
and just create this thing now go to your content uh, folder where your all projects are saved so now you need to find that which project you created recently that is player then go to content folder and you find the third person then third person then many cutes uh okay you need to just copy these three folders come in unreal engine that which are project you now the vehicle project come and contain and just paste that here okay so your all need third person data are come in your basically your this vehicle template so let's check so if everything is good yep as you can see it's now come so basically the some inputs will be glitched so compile and save let's check check that which uh, input so as you can see there is some turn rate and other stuff so because why uh, the unreal engine if you go to project settings then if you go to inputs unreal engine uh, make two type of inputs so one is for vehicle and another step for basically the player okay so as you can see there's a hard and move forward are available but there's some changes so for cl click on import i already have my last player data inputs i just click on input so it will automatically change everything now come saved so now the bugs will become in our basically the vehicle not in our player as you can see the it's fixed okay now let's come in vehicle compile and save as you can see there's a only bugs come at here so just simply remove this thing and there's a also some option at look it okay so just false it saved switching camera for now let's do this thing okay let's remove this thing okay 80 percent of this thing are fixed so now let's enable our world uh, settings and at world settings we need to basically first of all set our game mode okay so it should be like this thing okay i like this uh, this mode details well, uh, details yeah now it's good okay so now let's select at here save this thing okay so now if i click on play so as you can see this spawn is our third person player okay so we can basically control him very nice now also we need to drag and drop our the vehicle okay so here is basically our vehicle uh let's yeah wow he is enough small for drive okay we need to make him some big uh so let's go to details let's give it three by three by three i think this is become now a enough big vehicle what do you say guys okay it's not uh it's become big but as you can see this problem is it still can be go under of the wall because these uh, scale is changed so for fixing this thing we need to fix from our basically inside let's check so basically as i said that in unreal engine there's a tons of bugs available so that's why i'm not also making a game for now in unreal engine 5 okay i already i just create a game but i just publish in google play so as you can see the problems are same pretty much i'm not sure that why i think the uh, i need to change the radius so the wheels radius so it will be fixed however first of all now let's create the drivable system so for that we need to basically go our vehicle so inside so inside of our vehicle we will be add a collision so by that collision we can verify that are we are near of the vehicle or not okay so kind of like that okay i think this is enough okay now we'll we go to even graph and in the even graph then go to on begin play okay so if we are inside of that we also get one more data that uh you know so now we'll be create a boolean at here that near near car okay I should I think it should be called Jeep not a car however uh, if I am near of the car or not so first of all verify so now add from other actor will be cast to third person player character not the game mode sorry uh, cast to third person player character and then will be duplicate this thing and simply connect it with this thing so other actor 
compile and set okay now from this one you will be searched that near basically the near curl should be set at here so simply connect it with this thing duplicate this thing connect it at here so well if you are near of the vehicle so we'll be call this functions so as you can see uh, we have now the data that are we near of the vehicle or not okay that is very basically very nice so we want that if we are the near of the vehicle if i press the f keyboard there should be an action call so before that i need get uh, all actor from class because i need our vehicle reference so we'll be call this thing with our begin play execute our begin play so at here will be called our basically the chasso vehicle so c h a o s uh where is sorry c h a o s the, there's a vehicle then we'll be get a copy basically simple and from that we'll be promote a variable so we'll be call this uh car ref that is basically our car reference and simply and it with this thing so now we have the our basically vehicle reference so it's mean that we can now executing the from any system from you know third person so now we'll be simply create a custom event that uh e and enter car okay so that is a basically a custom event that enter cars so now come in our basically first person actor now we will be called at f keyboard press if i press the f keyboard it will be first of all verify that i if i am near of that vehicle or not okay with like that if i'm near of the vehicle if it's true so then from our uh you know from vehicle it will be uh, basically execute our enter function so uh, the entr enter car so it will be basically called our function that enter car okay that is basically the easy system now let's go to our vehicle now we need to do everything in our vehicle so what i want first of all that if i am entering in the car so first of all what will we do is basically very simple it will be give us uh, the basically the controller so we'll be such that possess so we can uh, first of all get a uh, player controller and from the player controller will be POWS so process so we will be simply connected with this thing and the pawn is basically self so just give it that self data okay now compile and save now we will be create another boolean that T R D R I V D R I V I N G driving car okay so i'm because basically i'm driving the car right now so yep so click on enter because we need that so also we also need to destroy our character so before that uh if it's enter so we'll be destroy our character so ds here destroy actor from class uh that is ourselves so it will be destroy ourselves so now let's try how much it's working so let's go to an uh, near and if i'm near so if i can i can now press the f keyboard yep so as you can see i'm now can drive the vehicle but the problem is as you can see the still have that uh, that suck problem so first of all i need to first fix the wheel so let's go to test vehicles and simply make this thing like this that is only 80 wow 45 it should be radius should be 45 that is the right for the vehicles 45 now let's try yeah now it's pretty enough good wow yes so as you can see we can drive the vehicle so we need to just fix some wheel some more kind of like i think it's we need to give it to 50 i think the 50 is good for this vehicle i'm not sure okay now let's try that the 50 is good or not or <laughs> not we need to maybe must be give 60 let's give 60 by 60 by radius so sometime you need to just you know play with the value values and you find a perfect i think this is now perfect wow yeah it's super perfect whoa what's you were doing baby i want to drive you wow it's become so much heavy because everything has become big so yeah so as you can see the driving system is now working very nice so we also want that we can get out from the car because we really want that system so for creating that system what you need to do 
basically uh, we are now driving uh, the cart so we also need a uh, spawn location okay so I don't know why this camera here the interacting so I'm just deleting this thing and don't need this one compile and save there's a come issue can become as I know so basically let's uh, untick the systems okay everything is now work perfectly hope so so what I need first of all I need an arrow that from that arrow we, our third person player can be spawned so we also need to make sure that we can use like this because we are using the F keyboard for pressing verify so we don't need to worry about anything so yeah from this one I think our player can be spawned there's no problem should become if there's any problem come will be fixed so don't worry about that so as you can see uh, yeah everything is pretty much here done so now go to graph now if we uh, we need a one more keyboard for you know for verifying so we can use the e keyboard for execute uh, from the vehicle so e keyboard for you know come out from the car so we'll be use the e keyboard and then at the e keyboard we'll be verify that if i'm driving or not first of all because we need to verify this thing if i am driving so it's mean that we are inside of the vehicle so for that we need to spawn actor from class because already our actor has been you know gone that's why and also we need to get our arrow and from that we need to get wall uh, you know transform and we need to spread this thing because i don't want his arrow size that's why so simply location and rotation this skull is the automatic default that is one 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 now we need to search the uh, filter class is always the third person character okay so yeah because now it's this is done so we can basically give process so basically we need to get a player controller so basically get a player controller and from the player controller we use that po double s that is process now we'll be simply connected with this thing and the return value is basically our prawn okay so yeah and also we need to set this driving vehicle that it's untick okay so we can in future we can drive the vehicle basically okay so every system is now pretty much done at here so now let's click and save and try that yeah are everything is working or not so yeah let's try i don't know why this problem coming but yeah let's try f keyboard okay so yeah there's a vehicle glitch now let's click on e keyboard if we are everything working so yeah everything is pretty much working but yeah i can drive right now Sometime the that problem will come. Yes. Boom. I am monster. Yeah, this is good guys. Uh we can now can come out from the vehicle. But I don't know why this vehicle jumping. I think that is also a Unreal Engine glitch. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Boom okay so i i hope you understand guys and thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next video and bye bye